What is good friends, we are here with Blunder vs CG Mars Ulti Playoffs and yeah, this game was highly expected, everyone wants to see this, this is like one of the highlight matches for sure. So I think that could be Specs High Dragon on Blunder's side, it could also be... Hmm. But it's really cool to see High Dragon in general, it's a low pony High Dragon. It looks like a Ricardo style team to be honest, um, so I'm thinking it's a Scarf, Scarf Lando, Rockstrand. Hmm. I mean, he's a bit weak to Volcarona. If Volcarona has Bug Bus for this. And like HP Ground for this. Slash their pack a doggy usually if they don't have HP Ground. So I'm not sure if he's. Um, Scarf Land or Scarf Hydra. But I don't think he's Scarf Hydra. I'm pretty sure he specs. I mean, you have to keep in mind that he's, this is prepping. They prep for specific people, he pr they prep for their opponents. So it's obviously, um, yeah, I think this is Specs Hydra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing this is Specs just for the sole purpose of that this looks really similar to an Oras team. And that was the main set in Oras. And I mean, I think Hydreigon isn't gonna do any, is, isn't gonna do much work here unless he gets a good prediction off versus Mawile. Cause every time Mawile comes in, it's a big threat. Cause like, yeah, Heatran and Mew can like switch in and soft check it, but the only other potential check Pharaoh gets trapped by, doesn't, by zone. Doesn't yeah. Mawa like take 35 or 40 from Dark Bolts? I don't know the Kalk. Let me open that. Uh, I think that's pre mega damage. It gets a bit bulkier after. Yeah, we're gonna cock that. So on the other side, I think that is uh, Scarf Lottie or Scarf Grin. Yeah, because it gets 40 Spadef upon Mega. I mean, what, what would you Like, 1595 think? isn't fantastic, but it's enough to take a few Dark Pulses. Like, this, like, I think that Hydreigon and Heatran are the two main mons that can do anything in this match. Yeah, if he's defensive lander, you can just go to that. Yeah. Also, if it's... I doubt this is Scarf Gren on this team, but... Yeah, it's not Scarf Gren. I don't think. I don't know if Blunder predicted the opposing land though, or if he... Huh. He probably predicted, uh, since he re led Lop, he probably predicted, like, a uh, mid-ground between Intimidate Mawile and, uh, double out to Lando. Hmm. I don't know if that Blunder's, like, rocks and spies, because he has to... I mean... Well, so that's probably def yeah, that's defensive then, most likely either that or scarf. We haven't seen it take any damage, so we don't know whether or not it has lefties. I mean, I was thinking it was scarf, and because this looks like a Ricardo yeah, I mean, team. This, yeah, Oz. this team looks like it would have a scarf Lando because there's no other like scarfers unless you got. It scarf really looks hydrate. like that Aura's team that Ricardo yeah. used. Uh, yeah, I think it's it's definitely scarf. I think it's Volt Switch or Utah Mew. That's why it was an Aura's at least. I don't think it'd be Volt Switch anymore. Because Doug Trio is yeah, yeah. way too good. I mean, U turn is out. Mm -hmm. Getting trapped by Sub Trio is awful. Oh, he tried yeah, to so bring it in on an off crack? Yeah, so basically, the I think Latios is probably the best switch in here. Cause I, don't, I don't know if I, like, I would have gone Hydreigon there. I mean. He was never earthquaking a pharaoh. I think he just thought that. Um, yeah, he's not. I mean, even if he was earthquaking, you lose nothing. He well, I guess. I think he predicted them to double. He probably predicted the. No, he was just probably trying to avoid getting trapped by Zer Zone on a U turn. Mm. Now, what I thought is that he um. He didn't want to take our. Like what I thought is that Blunder thought that the Juma thought that he doesn't want to. Like, Blunder thought that Jumas doesn't want to take Iron Barbs. But yeah, mm -hmm. I, I didn't even think about the trapping, so that makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because right here, uh, I mean, obviously, he, this is just going to be a sport. Uh, something's going to bed or uh, Pharaoh's coming in. And the issue with Pharaoh coming in is that, like, any, like, timely Dublin the mag is going to be really hard for Blunder to deal with. But... Siduma. I think Siduma might double spore here. 
Yeah, double spore is a is a good play here because like. Blunder has to play aggressively to stop his Pharaoh from getting trapped. I I mean, like, personally, I probably would have doubled the mag on the previous turn, but that's just, like, too risky a play to justify at turn 5. Yeah, like, Blunder might have just gone for Dark Pulse there, you don't know that, like, 100%. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I think Sidium is oh. like trying to make mid ground plays in case Blunder tries to predict the Magnezon. Yeah. Because the defensive Lando covers Scarf Lando and uh, Heatran. Well, not necessarily Heatran, but it like thre it threatens out a potential. Okay, so Heatran. now he's trapped. I don't know why, don't know why Sidumas keeps taking Iron Barb's damage. At this rate, he's going to lose to Lopany pretty soon. Yeah, like most of the Among Us are uh, Spadaf. Because they mm -hmm. check like um what you call it Greninja. Yeah. It depends on the um I mean this like, could also be AV zone though because it didn't kill him. Yeah, no, it's it's either what is it called? It's either A V or Scarf. Like I don't think it's gonna be Z move zone on this oh, team. Scarf is no one. <laughs> Scarf is a bad set, but like it's still a <laughs> an option. Mm. <sighs> oh, he tried to kill it with Volt so he doesn't. Oh my god, if Blunder double leashed, he's a god. He's probably just gonna and get the he... third spike, yeah. Yeah, he's probably getting the third spike up. Why are people saying how would Blunder of know? Course. Literally, now that does he. <laughs> BTC trademark DVs. <laughs> they think that he had Chacha and leftovers, and then he knew that he wouldn't HP fire again. Oh my! Zemo oh, Gren. Oh, it's Gren. Well, that that has to it has to be Scarvelari then I think. Recording. Yeah, it has to be. Yo, Yo what's up? Yeah, Are so. Yeah. 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 So we were specul. We were like doing a bunch of speculation. You guys didn't tell me you were recording. Um, oh, I said I would go to the recording would, call and yeah, everything. Because basically, the speculations yeah, yeah. we come up with is that it's Scarf Lando specs Hydreigon on Blunder's team. And no, no, it, it, it's Scarf. Yeah, we, yeah, we we basically speculated that turn like turn one. Scarf yeah, Lando same. Specs yeah, because it's like a team that I Like judging how he played Lando early game. Yeah. Oh, so this is probably wait, wait, Ash wait, wait. with uh, Hydreigon. No, no, this is this is no. Yeah, this is yeah. this is probably Water Z. Yeah. I don't like yeah, that set at all, but it, sometimes it's nice for a surprise. Good. I don't know why you don't like that I've set. used it and it never did much for me. Specs always does more for me. But I only use it like 5 games. The thing about Water Z is that like, when you need to hit a pump mid-game, you don't have to worry about missing on, like say, an offensive Lando or something. That's the only thing that, that is nice about it is you can like um, set up spikes on the Toxapex after you click Dark Pulse and they recover. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? What is? Wait, why does he need Chopper Pharaoh on this team again? On this team? Oh, what is he using it? For? Oh, he was Chopper. I didn't even pay attention he's to. Probably him. using it for Keldeo because he's not he's not Spadef Mew on this team. I don't think. Yeah, Keldeo. Yeah, yeah, Keldeo. But like, I mean, if he's not Fist Def Mew, he's like weak to Zygarde, like weak as fuck. <laughs> he's probably 290 Mew, like most teams. Like, wonder. Yeah, he's definitely. No, he's. He's Scarf Lando plus like probably yeah. fast Mew. So this team also loses fast. to Volcarona, I feel. Blood. Oh yeah, it, well, like, you, can't, you can't always prep for Yeah, that's what I said early game. You have to always prep for a specific opponent and then if they don't use Volk a lot or like never, then it's fine. Like the thing is, is like, like people have stopped running HP ground for some reason, which makes like Pran fine. Uh, can someone, wait one second. I'm pretty sure that doesn't matter if it's Vex. <laughs> It probably didn't. I'm alright, Blunder's so that's good. Zemo. So that's no, tomorrow the, the muted like kid in the call? Now, is, now C. Dumas doesn't know for sure that it's facts. If, it, if, he, yeah. if he didn't correct, if he didn't correct then C. Dumas actually got information out of it. Like, also, yeah, I think this is, um, I think so this what he can do is go to um, mobile and then double into Gren. Or C. move. I forgot. Or C. move. 
Kudamas. He's probably Water Z. Z move Gren because it was. He already revealed Z move on Greninja. Yeah, he got knocked off and he didn't lose the item. Yeah, nothing happened. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, Blunder. Blunder could possibly be. Wait, what is that? Is that? It's Like it. That's like Max Bedev, bro. Yeah, it's super Bedev. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Amoongus is gonna run Max Bedev for Ninja in this meta. Yeah. Nothing. Dude, if Amongus wants Max Bedev, it probably dies to Z-Wider from Coco from like 60 or 50. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm thinking is like, it's I'm, I'm leaning Ooh. towards it being Z-Move Lando, but that could possibly be Z-Move Hydreigon if that's not Max Bedev Moongus. Return kind of gets a kill, or oh, ACH has fun. That, that, that was good from Blender. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. fire. Yeah, that's what just gonna kill here. Because it's not, it's not Spacks, so that means it's not in Shuriken range. Yes. Yeah, of course. It's like Hand of Return should kill the Among, Among Us. Yeah, no, because Return, Return into High Jump Kick is going to kill Ret anything. Return is free here, yeah. That yeah, boy. At first I thought it was free. You, oh my god, wait, if this is Scarf oh, Lost. I mean, yeah, I think so Scarf So he's going to trend here. Right? It's, Scar it's Scarf Latios. It has to be Scarf. If it's Scarf yeah, Latios, it should be. Yeah. But now okay, he has the Psyshock. So right? the, the super aggro play Hydreigon. would be going into Hydreigon on the Psyshock, which is... Oh, oh my god. Break up the heat Yo, yeah, I would've I would have gone for like server trick as well there, so Blunder would've gotten me the yeah, gun. Doesn't he lose the yeah. Greninja now, though? Let's see if my lot of sense. Oh yeah, um, now he loses the Greninja. Yeah. Oh, he wow. does, yeah. Unless he's, unless he's like Scarf Hydreigon, yeah. Or he's Quick That's Attack. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I can cog real quick if um if there was space. I mean, okay. plus one quick attack on the would Among probably Us. kill it at this point, but yeah. Wait, how much is Gren at? He's at 60, so yeah, Blunder needs to save this for fake out on Gren. Max Bedev Among Us takes 36.8. Yeah, that was Max Bedev probably. Yeah, Surf was perfectly fine there. That was that was the Surf was the best play there. Even if yeah. he's yeah, no, high, this guy Blunder just made plays. a great play yeah. in. The crit kind of hurts because now he's in Mawile Sucker Punch range. I mean, he was always in. He was always in shuriken range, so. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just. Especially with Roxa. Rock, so. Yeah. Oh, oh God. What? Predicted. Oh. Uh, I mean, like yet. I mean, like. Do you attack you, or so? You sub? cannot risk your. You cannot risk your lob there because it's the no, only. Yeah, you suck. Her here, you suck her here. You think I, he's I, quick I, attack lob for like helping with the yeah, fire? I mean, he uh, left some. Because this is a 50 50. Oh, he shot power punch. Well. He's shot power punch, my bad. He's not quick attack. Oh, this is fine. Yeah. I'm bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah he does bad. set up, bro. I was gonna say, oh, like, that was a that really good cool. Gren as well. That yeah, was the, super aggressive. Oh, yeah, no. Gren's in fake out range of punch. No, that, no, no. It's Rox definitely not right quick attack. Rox is definitely the right player. Because, yeah, I agree. No, Rox is a great play because now yeah, it runs in yeah, fake out. Greninja, this is Greninja's last time in, like. Yeah. Is it? Does it die to it, it kills, Yeah, because Rox do 12 and Spikes do 17.5. Right? Yeah. No, they, 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 they do more than 17. They do 18.75. Yeah, Green came in at 60. Um, now it's at 31. But yeah, it's, so it's, 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 yeah, it's definitely dead. It's definitely dead then. He has yeah. to have fake out though. Showdown always lies. Yeah. Yeah, obviously he's fake out. Unless the, he like if he if he HJK's on the switch here, he's the best player. If he's not fake. No, that makes no sense. That makes no that sense. That makes no oh, sense. Be, yeah, no, that's a that's a bad play. Wait. Wait. What? Oh, he's not fake oh out. my god, he is fire. <laughs> oh, if he HJK's fake that. out. He, I told you he's a I I literally <laughs> just said oh, if he HJK'd on the switch. Oh, god. Wait, is he oh, not? God. Wait, when he revealed Pup, no, he should have gone for Shuriken there because he revealed Pup. So Pup oh my god. Okay. Well, oh my god. No, I like the set a lot, points. but it just never does that also, no, much work for me. Yeah, he can't, he can't, no, use, he can't use priority because he's in terrain. Yeah, he yeah. could just go no, for like, um, um, Psychic here. Nobody does it speed it now. If, if Gren dies ball. from Hazard, Psychic is fine. If not, he has to like... Potentially fire blast. Oh my no, no, this God. is fine. This is fine. You can just psychic because if Gren comes in, you go into low yeah, no, and you can't one shot. Spam psychic. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You spam psychic now and you win because Greninja dies to. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it doesn't die for Exactly. Holy shit. I, holy no, shit. No, actually. That's insane. Okay, so, yeah, basically. Wait, could, no, could Fiduma still won if he went to, like, uh, this year? <laughs> No, cause yeah, he should have stalled out terrain turns. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that I makes a difference. 
Blank game no, one. No, it does make a difference. Okay. Yeah, because he's just put off. Oh, oh, it's black. Oh, oh, oh. 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 that's, that's neutral. neutral. What is that for? Yeah, for pegs? Yeah, you go low, buddy, and you win. Yeah. Can someone drag mugs in the call? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I I, I can't. I can't I, the yeah, moment. sorry. I tried dragging you in the call, but it wasn't letting. God, blunder is fire. Oh, good. Yeah, blunder is amazing. Yeah, blunder. I don't, is I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know how he did it, but I don't. Yeah, I don't either, man. I don't know how he how we won this matchup. <laughs> that like that that Greninja should have won that game ten times <laughs> over. But you know, actually, it actually should have. Uh, next level. You know what's funny? The extra spike from Ferrothorn actually like gave him the win yeah. in the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, if he if he got his third spike on the switch, there wouldn't have even been the 50-50s at the end of the game. <laughs> That's funny. See, you should have just called the bluff and assumed he wasn't fake out. Yeah, because he revealed Pup already, so Pup yeah. Encore is like, common enough that it's worth taking that risk. Yeah. If you yeah. double out and he he gets a like a play right, then you're in a, a fuck ton of trouble. I thought he still had Fagan, he just as a garden didn't go for it. He stayed in, he lost 100%. So. 